Hello guys and girls, how's it going? Screezilla here and I hope you're all well. And you join me today in Tank Assault Arcade. Now this is War Thunder's <clears throat> PvE uh, attempt. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do I hate this mode. Um, this mode is really poor. Really poorly done. Now, you've got the option of using tanks or aircraft. You can do a tank or aircraft game. Um, the, the aircraft version is pretty much exactly the same. You just have to save a base from being blown up. Uh, in the tank version, you have to just stop tanks getting into your base. And it's basically just a horde mode. They could do so much better. As is proven by... Wargaming. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me there. Um, look at World of Warships with their PvE mode. It is so good. It's so engaging, so much fun. The PvE mode in World of Warships is actually more fun to me than the PvP mode. And that's a pretty decent achievement. I really do love the PvE aspect of uh, World of Warships. And it's because it's actually enjoyable and it's not just wave after wave of enemy tanks you know that sometimes you can't even penetrate you know with your guns because you're just too low a BR we're fighting T-34s here at long distance so it's not too much of an issue right now but we'll be fighting uh, KV-1s and you know all different tanks you know uh, KV-85s um, <clears throat> things like that. And of course you've got planes bombing you and uh, rocketing you as well, which is just so much fun. Um, but this mode is really, really boring and it's really poorly designed. The other problem is the AI tanks are just so overpowered. Like, oh boy, oh boy, do these enemy tanks just rip you apart. Oh, thank, thanks, thanks there, buddy. Thanks. Wasn't like I was just aiming there to take a shot. Thanks, mate. Really, really nice driving there. You know. I missed that shot. Um, but it's really poorly designed. You know, just... Right, this T-34 is shooting at me now. And we're shooting at, you know, relatively long range here. Nope, the plane just bombed me. Somebody's taken it out. Good, good. But the AI is just ridiculously um, accurate. You know, they have so much accuracy, it's ridiculous. Sometimes you'll have tanks that can just shoot you from, you know, two kilometres away, straight into the weak spot of your tank. And it's so frustrating. It's just a very frustrating game mode. It's not that fun. The other issue is tanks will spawn without you sort of noticing. So when they spawn in, they just spawn and then are there. You know, you, you don't have like a couple of seconds to readjust your tank or anything like that. So what are we facing this time? It's like KVs. Oh no, T-34Es. Okay, that's good. We can take these guys out still. Relatively long range. If they're angled, it does make it a little bit trickier. Um, we're going to get blown up here any second, uh, just because they're just they just have this ludicrous accuracy mode, where they can just shoot you through houses, shoot you from cover, shoot you from anywhere. Um, you know, and it, it does make this mode really, really frustrating because it just really does affect the the gameplay because you, you're playing it and you're just like oh, okay that's cool that's neat I've just got killed by a tank from you know 70 kilometers away okay yeah, we've got friendly tanks in the way I should get that guy on fire just before he died Uh, 
and everyone's firing their machine guns, so it makes it harder to see everything. New groups arriving. Now, we're not doing too bad in this game. We've not suffered any crew losses or anything like that yet, which is pretty odd for this mode. But it's just not very engaging. As I say, this mode is really, really just crap. Um, it, as I say, it's basically just uh, zombies, you know. You could pretty much call this Call of Duty zombie mode. Because that's pretty much all it is. It's just a horde mode where you just fight wave after wave after wave of enemy tanks. Now we've got KV-85s, so these guys are going to be pretty hard for me to penetrate with my stock shells. Not impossible, but just going to be pretty hard. And there we go, we got blown up. Where did we get blown up from? From tanks spawning to the left of them there. Just straight away they spawned in. You know, and this is the problematic thing about this mode. It just really does affect it because it's just... The accuracy of these tanks is ridiculous. The other thing is they don't start far enough away. So if you look here, we've got tanks pretty much already in the base now after a couple of minutes of them spawning in. Well, not even minutes, a couple of seconds of them spawning in. You can see I'm already getting shot at um, by these guys. And at the moment, I'm not really going to be able to penetrate anywhere other than the weak spot. And somebody just took it out just as firing. You know, you have to really aim your shots with these lower BR tanks because you're basically fighting a, a big disadvantage here. Um, it's not to say it's impossible but it just really does make it a lot harder for you in these um, in these tanks. You know we can't penetrate the turret, we can't penetrate the most of the hull armor in fact. We've just got to fight and penetrate weak points. Which isn't impossible, as I say, but it does make it just very, very tricky. Now, you've got the option of playing in a plane as well. You can take out a plane for this mode. Um, and you can take out a just a ground attacker or a bomber or a fighter. It's not worth taking out fighters, in all honesty. Fighters are just a waste of time. Uh, because... You, you only have like about a minute in the plane and you can't really do much in them. Now we're going to move a bit so we don't get absolutely hammered by enemy fire. As you can see though, we've already got shots flying across our our nose. T-34Es. And because it's all purely randomised of what tanks you get, you can really have trouble of actually fighting them. Um, yeah, we're going to get absolutely destroyed here any second. Now we'll back up behind this house. And we'll probably get shot through the house any second now. By these incredibly accurate AI. Or well, we're going to get bombed, one or the other. Now we've got bombed there, so we'll have to repair our track. You know, the plane aspect really does make this mode more frustrating than it has to be. But it just, yeah, it's just not a very fun gameplay mode. Um, because it's just, it's ludicrously hard sometimes, depending on what tanks you've got on your team. Um, you know, it, that's a real big effect of it. And also because it's arcade mode, sometimes you get very arcadey sort of physics at play. Um, alright. So that guy is getting pretty close. No, of course, the optics eat that up, of course, because it is a T-34 after all. Track that guy. Go. Alrighty. This guy's getting a bit closer. Sorry, I'm concentrating for a second. So, lack of talk here for a few moments. Now, planes can be useful if you take them out for bombers, for example. Um, certain times in the game, if you're fighting heavy tanks, they can be really useful. Actually, I'll, I'll spawn... Well, I won't spawn in a bomber. I took 
a microsecond too long there. Now we're going to reverse up while they're fighting that other guy and hopefully we'll get into some cover. Now what you can do is what that KV8, uh, KV-1B 75-6R is doing over there. What the hell are those guys doing with that tank? Are they just making love to it or are they actually fighting it? We've got an IL-10 coming in here. Um, but yeah, it just, you know, it, it is very frustrating sometimes because it just, you know, the game mode is just very, very boring and it's just not a very engaging thing. But they could do so much with this game engine. You know, they, they've proven that they can do sort of like an escort mission where you're escorting KV-1s now. Probably not going to do much at this range, in all honesty. But we can try. Fence. And of course, optics ports, as with all Russian planes, do eat up all your shells. And of course, that's not a penetration. Now, we're in a bad spot here, in all honesty. Yep, of course. So, we've got a B 25. So we're going to drop some bombs on this group of, of tanks that's moving here. This is a nice sort of grouped up area. We might get some good hits there. There we go, we managed to destroy one. And we've got an IL-10 coming head on to us. Is it head on or is it flying away from us? Flying away from us actually. So we'll use overpowered 50 cows. Of course, it is a Russian plane, so... It'll take more than a few 50 cows to kill it. Our bombs are done, though. So, we managed to take out what, one plane, I think it was, with our 50 cows. And... And one tank with our bombs. So... Not a huge difference maker there, in all honesty. You know, like, because you get the 500 pound bombs on board, you don't really get much to kill things with. The other issue, of course, is in arcade mode, the tanks move really weirdly sometimes. As you saw there, that KV just completely wobbled around and just zoomed across the map as we were aiming. Um, it happens a lot in this mode for some reason. Are out. Oh, lost a fuel tank. KV 85s now we're fighting. And we've got some to our right. Now we've got to try and get these shots in, but we're not going to survive very long. Uh, if we can get them through the front plate, we'll be okay. But the trouble is we're going to get blown up because, as you can see, we can get like one or two shots off before we get absolutely hammered by them. <sighs> the other issue, of course, is you are fighting at a big disadvantage because usually your tanks are at least 1 or 1.5 BR lower than the enemy, which really does affect it as well. I honestly think they should have just medium tanks in this mode or light tanks. No heavies. Because the amount of tanks makes up the um, the advantage. As you can see here, people just die so quickly in this mode, it's ridiculous. Um, you just, you really can't do much to affect the, um, the game sometimes, because you just die so quick, you can't even get close to the enemy tanks. Now we've got some long range here. Might get lucky, nope. R and Jesus is not with us. But we've got tanks in our base right now. So we've got to take them out because we're going to lose cap points with those around. The other problem is, of course, is sometimes you get dickheads using smoke. Now, we haven't had that today, thankfully, but yesterday 
when I was doing this mode, I had that massive issue of people just using smoke to um, effectively hide themselves, but the problem is, is doing that you can't see the enemy tanks. And it really affects the gameplay because if you can't see the tanks to aim at them, you can't really do much. Just a tiny bit off there. And this guy's angled now, so let's try shot through the front. There we go. Got lucky there. We've got one long, long range. And we've got more in our base. So hopefully people will be able to move up and get them. We've got the M4A2 there. Go nice breaking shot and got one off in long distance who we will use to hopefully move away from the spawning zone. But when you compare this to other games' PvE modes, it's just no comparison. Like, as I said, I have so much fun in um, World of Warships in the PvE mode. It's just, it's really good fun and I really enjoy every minute of it. You know, the games are interesting, you need some skill to play it. If you have a bad team, you'll have a bad day. Screw you, Fence. Um, but this mode, you know, if you have a bad team, you're going to have a bad day still, but it is just position, shoot, position, shoot, position, shoot. There's no real element of gameplay to it, it's just shooting ranges. You know, and that's all you're doing every single game is just firing down range. You know, there's no real element of of joy to it. You know, we've got like 19 kills. There we go. 19 kills and not one of them have I felt, oh, that was awesome. You know, it's just purely, ugh, yeah, kill, 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 kill. Just holding down the fire button. Uh, whatever would be a bit of a dangerous spot here. We've got T-34s we're fighting. But we're on a flank on our own. And we're basically at a big disadvantage here because all the tanks are going to aim at us. So, you know, we have to be really careful now. Especially if we shoot an injure one. If we don't get the kill... We've got one guy aiming at us already. Let's take out his gunner at least. And reload, reload, reload. You know... Okay, he's on fire at least. But it's just very, very boring, dull, samey gameplay, you know. The other problem is, of course, if you do accidentally target a plane, you're going to have your gun fly up in the air any second because it is arcade. And we are bollocksed now. Because of that rocket attack. Um, yeah, it's just so boring, you know. Death is coming for us. Now, as you see here, we're pretty much out in the open, and we're going to have a lot of tanks shooting at us any second now. And we can't really do much at this range to those KV-1s. We could get a lucky shot in, maybe. Like that. But it's all about hitting that target at long range and lost our driver and our loader and we are dead. You know, there was nothing we could do there and it's just so, oh god, as I said, this game mode really does suck. You do get some good rewards for it though if you do get all your, if you finish it properly, um, if you actually complete this mode fully. Now, see there we've spawned with our back to the majority of the enemy tanks. So we've now got a turn, we've got our engine deck exposed. And that shell, god knows where that shell went. Uh, 
again, just disappearing shells. Um, do, 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 do. So, the enemies in our base are overrunning us by the looks of it, and we're probably going to lose here now because there is no way we're going to get all of those cleared out so quickly. Take out the gunner and commander, thankfully, but. Need to get up close now and take these guys out because they're also over the hill ridge. And we're really in a dangerous position now because the enemy takes that guy's barrels gone. Um, because we are so close to them, they're probably going to start shooting at us now. Might get lucky here. Yep, we survived that. So that's good. Got some more at very long range. Do, 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 do. Um, we're going to run away now and try and get into some cover so the next wave doesn't kill us straight away. We've got an IL 10 coming in. Now we've got some enemies at the back here again. The other problem as well I find with this mode is the base is just so large. Uh, hop in a plane actually, maybe, if it lets us. No, nope, not going to let us. And we've got KV-85s. Great. We're on a with a lot of KV-85s. We gotta get some side shots on these guys. Managed to take out a track at least. Bombs are incoming. Ricochets. Now this is towards the end. I think this is our last wave, maybe. Or second to last wave. Fired off a little bit too soon there. go. Um, but you can see there's just a huge amount of heavy tanks up now coming in, which are very hard to kill with this gun. Not impossible, but you just have to get your shots right on target. And as you see, they're pretty much all in our base now, and they're all over this lip of this hill. So we're really going to have to move forwards now. There's one guy on fire that's still alive. Good, he's dead. Set him on fire, that's good, he will die in a minute or two. But here's a danger still, because of course, when on fire, they can still shoot at us. No penetration through that turret, of course. We'll try and get behind these guys. There's more of them coming in, like the zombies that they are. Another one on fire that will kill it eventually. Managed to bounce that shot, thankfully, but we probably will not last much longer in this position. Got a lot of enemy tanks shooting at us. And we're running out of um, points very quickly here. So if we don't get these kills done quickly, we're going to lose very quickly. There we go, we managed to take out that group now. And we've got the final group arriving. We have very few points to keep this going. And our team are pretty spread out. Hopefully this last group is... Yeah, of course it's heavy tanks. Great. Well, we'll see what we can do here. Again, we're going to have some trouble penetrating them. At this position, we've got to just go for those weak points and pray that we get those hits on target. Oh, too late. We've been destroyed. Now, this last rain, uh, wave is probably the most dramatic one as well because there's a lot of tanks involved in it. <sighs> we 
didn't get a very good spawn, but it's not the worst. We've got 33 tanks killed now. So, you know, you'd think 33 tanks, that's pretty good. It's not enough sometimes for this mode. It's bloody horde zombie mode that they've made. It's definitely a ricochet. We're going to get bombed here now. Die in a second as well. Gunners down. Not in a very good spot right now, but we are taking some enemy fire away from our allies. But they are in our base, so you know we are pretty much buggered now. We might get the win, but it's going to be a very close victory for sure. Hopefully, we get a good spawn in. facing the enemy. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. And we're definitely not going to win this game. As you can see here, we've got too little too late now. Very close loss. But it's pretty much always a loss in this mode. It's very hard to win it, in all honesty. <sighs> Mission failed on the last step. So, 35, 36 tank kills, what are we going to get from that? Being that we were pretty much at the end of the mission. Well, we're going to get a trophy. 300 lions. Of course, you know, it's amazing how this one always goes forwards instead of backwards, but when you're getting a vehicle, it always goes backwards instead of forwards. We made 20,000 lions and 2,420 2, research points. Not great, in all honesty. Um, if we'd won it, we would have been okay. We would have been looking at something a bit better. But it's very hard to win this. So how many, uh, how many kills did we end up getting? So we had 35 kills, 11 assists, 5 deaths. So... Yeah, as you can see, that will give us 20,000 lions. That's all. So, yeah. In a very long, how long was that? That was 28 minutes of gameplay. We earned that much. You could do that in two battles um, pretty easily. Uh, it's just... It, it, a, it's too hard, but B, it's just really, really crap. Um, that mode is just so, so awful. I really wish Gaijin would do something, because they have the opportunity to make some really fun modes. If you've ever played any of the player uh, scenarios, you know what I'm talking about. There are some really interesting modes, yet all we get from Gaijin is this zombie horde mode, and it is just woeful. Okay, guys, well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this rum ranty, rumbly video. Um, let me know what you think of this mode below, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>